tell y'all I am so tired I came on here to speak about a couple things I wanted to see if anybody was going to pop on that I just don't get nor do I understand nor do I understand it's so sad how people try to they think they doing something but they're literally try, harming you they're harming you harming your well not your well-being but your just your livelihood and it's a lot of us that have probably done it before or are doing it now and don't think about it or think of it the way that I'm going to present it and I was talking to a um a new client and it was so weird because I was just talking to somebody else about this and um, like we got so many people that are so insecure and so um, just just evil to the point where like I'm not gonna say evil y'all tell me what I'm trying not what I'm trying to say but hey sis how are you hey girly like if I have something and I can share it with you. I'm going to share it with you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just how I roll. And I will want you to be able to share something with me. That is good for me. That can help me. Um, and why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not share a good thing? You know, people do reviews for a reason. People share and talk about their experience for a reason. Or when they get something or services or whatever the case may be. That stuff is shared. Thank you for the thumbs up. Whoever gave it to me please thumbs up if you come in here and watch the video so I was talking to someone today the conversation came up about how um so many people men and women do this like if you have something and I say hey oh my gosh that's awesome that's nice or who did that or where where did it um where did you get it done and you know people don't want to share the information or people uh, act like they can't give the information to you or people will act like it's top secret or they don't want to allow that person to go to whoever they get their service from whether it be hair waxing nails feet whatever so many different services you can get eyebrows lashes whatever and what you don't what you fail to realize is if you love the person that give you your services why would you not want to share them excuse me with other people why would you not want to share and tell people about that person you're not you're being selfish so think about blessings that God could have for you or blessings that can come through somebody else even in little things like that guys you got to be aware of the fact that little things like that can also be hindering why things ain't happening for you in your life like if you know that your massage therapist or your you know nail tech or whatever is awesome and everybody give you compliments because her work or his work is so awesome why would you not share that with the people why would you not tell the people who they are i've met so many people who even sat in my chair and just in general would have something or some type of service or some type of connection to something that's awesome and literally would say oh mm -mm, I ain't telling nobody where I got this or I ain't telling nobody this or I ain't telling nobody that I don't want everybody having what I got or I don't want everybody knowing where I go or whatever the case may be or I don't want everybody looking like me which is what the lady said her she said she had a cousin and her cousin um had a cousin who had a awesome boutique and she would get like really nice clothes from her and very affordable you know for plus size women but she would not ever share where she get her clothes from with other women so you don't realize because you trying to 
um, because of you trying to. Because you're trying to, with your insecurities, feel like you're holding something back and you got something that nobody else got or whatever the case may be or no one, no one else has. You are stopping your cousin's bag. You are trying to stop your cousin's bag because if you don't refer people to her business, now she's not making money that she could be making off of referrals. Usually a person doesn't start a business because they want one client. A person doesn't start a business because they want to be, um, what is that word? Uh, what is that where it's just one person, you and that person? They don't start businesses for that. They start businesses to branch out, to get more clientele, to add people that word of mouth advertisements for it to get out there. And no one wants to share. She says, you know what? It's so crazy because I've been looking for someone to do my hair and my daughter's hair. Um, and I did her hair today. The baby, the girl, little baby hair, the, um, her, her daughter's hair today. I did her hair on Saturday. She was the one where my car clunked out and all that. I told you I was going to meet a new client and I felt so bad I had to tell her I'm running late. It was just a bad day Saturday. So long story short, she was very understanding, very sweet girl. So she still came right back bright and early with her daughter. So here's the thing. She reached out to several people and she'd be like, hey, you know, I like your braids. You know, who did it? And people were like two people that she reached out to um I don't, I don't know she don't like people giving her number i don't know i see i don't even know if her number the same stuff like that you you your hair is fresh you don't know the number to the lady but see that's how god works when you being evil evil set up is all evil towards somebody can be set up for a blessing for somebody else which it was a blessing to get her and her daughter she was like because when i find somebody and i like that person i stay with them so we were just having a conversation about how so many people do that and, and, and let's be honest i'm i'm african-american i can't talk about any other nationalities but it is so 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 prevalent in our communities where we are so that crab in a barrel thing hello lady of the house and everyone hello diane gaddis how are you i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good sexy i'm so good um just relaxing girl just relaxing trying to figure out where i'm gonna go i need to i need a me times i need a me mini me getaway I need it and I need it ASAP. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. I want to take a little road trip. I don't want to drive too far, but I want to get away. Um, so yeah. <sighs> so long story short, it's like people don't realize how it hinders our businesses as African Americans and how it hinders us flourishing and thriving. The mindset that many of our people has is tearing our businesses apart it's tearing them apart especially when you're a true honest business person who who you know really cares about what you got going on and really cares about having something that can brighten someone's day or make someone smile or make someone feel good that they did business with you um but then you have people that don't want to share it you have people that literally don't want to share it and i have i've had literally like i said had people sit in my chair and usually not trying to be funny most times, if I do somebody here, somebody is usually going to call me from that person. Usually. So when somebody doesn't call, I, I usually ask if they come back. Like, how was it? Did, did your friends and family like it? They were like, yeah, girl. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's kind of weird. And, you know, I would think somebody, because it was a couple months or whatever. And not saying it's always going to be somebody that called back, but that's just how God been working for me. So I'm like, oh, okay. And that's when the one girl was like, girl, I ain't telling nobody. I got sisters and cousins and stuff. Mm -mm, I ain't giving them your number. They can go right to who they go to and sit for eight, nine hours if they want to. I be trying to tell them stuff and they don't listen. So I'm, I ain't going to share this neither. I was like, oh, okay. And in my brain, I'm like, do I say something or do I not say something? But if I come into contact with a situation like that, again, I'm going to say something. I'm like, that is the mentality that leaves our businesses so halted in so many areas and ways that it could be flourishing so much more that that's the mentality and it's it's sad but it's so true it's sad but it's so true that people don't want to share they don't want to share and, it, and then this is the crazy part we was talking about not only just services but if i find something that's informative and i find something that i know i can't benefit from but i know my sister can benefit from or a brother can benefit from or somebody close to me can benefit from it i'm gonna call you 
and share that. Like, hey, you know, call such and such or you need to do blah, blah, blah because they doing boom, boom, boom. And I know that that would be something beneficial to you. People don't like to do that these days because they just feel like they have the upper hand or they, they got something over you. I'm, I don't need it, but I ain't sharing it neither. You know what I mean? And it's like you're stopping my bag. You're stopping other people's bag. And it's not cool. So when you have that mentality, you're looking at it just like, oh, I'm just, I don't have to share my people or my services or my people that I get services from with anybody. You don't have to do nothing true. But think about the whole process of how businesses work and how things happen for people. That is something, and I don't know who does this as well on here or who have, you know, encountered this situation or either you have done this where you're like, mm -mm, I ain't sharing. I ain't sharing. I ain't telling nobody. I'm not telling nobody. I don't, mm -mm, nope. They don't need to go where I go. Nope. They don't need to. Hello, Jessica. They don't need to know where I go or they don't need to know where I shop or they don't need to. You know, that's not cool, y'all. It's not cool. Y'all got to do better. We got to do better. We got to do better to be more supportive of places. And I've even had cards where I'm not fond of throwing big birthday parties for kids. I, and y'all know that. I don't do that. I like to create memories with my children and we'll find something that they truly like and we'll go and create a memory and do something like that. I'm not about to spend a whole bunch of money on a birthday party for one day to impress people that I really don't they they probably really don't care about us and I don't really care about them as much. You get what I'm saying? Because usually when you have a birthday party, you want to invite people. It's not that many friends and people that you're close to in the world for you to be having 20, 30 people and you just say all of y'all are just so close and they're just so gung-ho and bringing the best gift to your child and it's going to be so worth every dime you spent because they're going to bring all these amazing gifts. Well, some people may have it like that, but not everybody does. So I'd rather take my money and spend it directly on my child. So with that being said, being that I'm not, if someone is a party planner or a cake person or a person that does character character caricatures is that how you say it? whatever you know what i'm talking about anything that involves something like that just because i don't do it i might hear a friend of mine say hey you know oh, i'm trying to plan this and i'm getting ready to do this and i need this and i'm like oh you know here's this number call this person or, oh you know what someone i talked to said they do this look up and that's that's how it's supposed to work just because you can't use what i have to offer or i can't use what they have to offer it doesn't mean you can't share it with somebody else like i had someone that reached out to me on here and they don't have any you know issues with their hair thinning or anything like that but they had an auntie and they had a um sister so you get what i'm saying so they passed it on and that kind of you know brung me something through them it does not have to be you be a blessing if you're wondering why some of your blessings might be blocked it's because you're not you're not moving and doing things in accordance to you want things to flow and come to you a certain way. Well, other people blessings has to come a different way and you might be blocking them and not even realizing that you are. Well, not even realizing that what you're doing is sort of something that can block blessings from somebody else. So you get what I'm saying? Because what's for you is for you. But at the end of the day, um, we just got to be more mindful of the way that we communicate and refer and word of mouth. And, you know, if it's good or you think it's good or you heard that it's good and, you know, maybe you can't use it, but someone could or maybe, you know, I've done that so much. Like even um, carpet people. I like to clean my own carpet, but I'll still take your car. Why? Because this girl may not. Hey, you need, okay, here, take his card. He said he, you know, do blah, blah, blah. And I hear he's pretty good. That's what we're supposed to do, guys. That's what we're supposed to do. That is a part of how everything spins full circle. And a lot of us don't. A lot of us don't. And so it, it stops the process and it stops things from flourishing sometimes the way they should because it's always that person that wants to just have the upper hand or authority over things that it's not that serious. Because even if you don't share that boutique with somebody or even if you don't share um, that guy who details your car really good or whatever the case may be, he's not the only one that's really good at it or she's not the only one with a boutique. They can still find great things, but why would you stop something from flowing through a person that you've done business with? I don't know. I, I, I just don't get it. But yeah, I, that was just something on my brain. And just also to come at y'all and let y'all know. No laptop, 
no laptop still hasn't popped up i've been trying to think positive my aunt not my aunt my cousin in missouri text caught me well, i'm saying text and told me to put something on facebook and you never know she said a lady in missouri lost her her um wedding band and she just figured you know it was a lost cause that that never nobody's gonna ever return it and literally weeks later somebody returned it so she was like you never know you're not losing nothing either way it'll be a gain for you so i put it out there i've been checking my inbox we'll see if it, i don't know um so i reached out um i not reached out i went and um found my old laptops do you guys know if geek squad is the type of place where you could take your computer i cannot find the charger i'm like should i buy a charger or should i just get one from best buy because i was gonna go like on amazon and get a charger It'd probably be cheaper amazon or ebay so i know my computers because you know how you after you have a computer and you upgrade you give it to the kids or whatever but they're still decent computers i'm like i will work with those until i, I mentally can say okay all right you know what let's try to get another one because i know my software is on those two older computers my toshiba and my lenovo they are on those computers so i'm going to um see if i can get it cleaned and you know reboot it or whatever they need to do just to clean it get any viruses or anything because you know when kids be on computers they be clicking on everything and um clean them up get a new um charger and just go back and roll with it i mean they're not bad like you know they're not bad like that it's just that um i, I just got the other laptop oh my gosh i just got the other laptop so yeah you know it's crazy because i'm sitting here and i'm like what just popped in my brain is time does heal all things and it does because when i'm thinking about it as i did when i did last week it like hurt even more to think about it and it's like i'm thinking about it but it's like my mind is kind of trying to you know fathom the fact that it is what it is girl i don't know what god is doing because i know everything happens for a reason i still don't understand what reason could this possibly have to happen to me for I, I don't get it but i guess later on i will um so yeah guys i've been purging i've been purging i've been purging i literally just um had another young lady come here and get a garbage i went in the closet again like i want my closet the stuff in my closet to be so minimum it's ridiculous um so i just purged again and um i gave her oh my gosh i think like 16 17 pieces brand new tags still stuff that i still was like oh you know what i'm gonna keep this but i they were colorful just ugh, i don't know my mindset is just just it's just so different now um i had a video that i did on wednesday wednesday yesterday I forgot to load. I'm gonna probably still load it tomorrow or later or something. I don't know, probably tomorrow. But anywho, um, still Persian. But I've been recording and my phone got a little bit of space on it. So I'm hoping that I can hold off from recording too much to it get too full and I have to release the stuff off of there. Um, and I can get that to Best Buy. So is that a good place to take your computers to get cleaned? And or do y'all know of any other like franchise type places like that that um i can look for in the area that fix computers uh i know we went to a place called you break we fix or you break i fix or something like that i don't know if that's just for phones y'all do y'all know if that's just for phones um or do you know any other franchise places that i can take a laptop and get it cleaned and you know back so i can get back on it and start doing what i need to do um because i do know and i believe my software is still on I believe my software is still on those computers so hello Wendy hello how are you um so that's what I'm gonna do that's my plan for now because I can't see myself spending any money right now like I'm getting mentally trying to prepare myself for the fact that it may just be what it is as far as the computer but I can't I feel like spending that money just makes me feel like I just feel like it, it, it it's I, I'm not gonna get it back so i'm just still trying to wait because it's only been a week and a couple days now because thursday no thursday friday saturday no because oh today is thursday it's been a week it's been a week it's brain 
I'm good. I'm good, Wendy. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get get my mental all together. Okay, so I'm gonna call you break I fix as well. Um, and ask them, do I need to get a charger? I don't know where my charger's at. I do not know where my chargers are for neither one of the computers. So, um, yeah. But I think I'm I'm more leaning towards the Toshiba because it's a little bit lighter. And I don't know, I just like the, the feel of the keyboard a little bit better. Um, so I think I might lean towards that one. And that was the one before I got the one that I just lost. So that was the more recent one I got. But you know what? I got that one off of Facebook Marketplace in South Carolina. And I believe I paid... Is it 150 or was it 50 It was really low. I got it from a minister, this Caucasian guy, this minister of this church. And he was like, um, he upgraded his computer. He no longer needed it. And it's a great computer. And it was. It, it was a great computer. Nice screen. Everything was just really intact. And I used that for some years um, before I even decided to get another computer. I bought that laptop that I just had the episode with like a year and a half i want to say it wasn't even no more than two years ago so i had that computer in south carolina for some years and then i had it the first couple years here before i bought you know so it was it was doing good as a second hand computer and it's gonna have to do good again so i'm gonna call thank you um thank you uh sexy i'm gonna call you break i fix tomorrow to see how that works about getting a computer looked at and them cleaning it off and doing everything with that um, cause I hear Geek Squad is high, but what y'all think? Would y'all go to Geek Squad or would y'all go to You Break I Fix or something like that? Um, let me know, let me know, let me know. Um, it seemed like You Break I Fix wasn't so bad. It seemed like they was pretty decent. And I think I went with them with a phone. I had a little issue, but they ended up reimbursing us and doing, I forgot what it was. It was something with Naya's phone. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. So, um... It was something with her phone, but I kind of complained. No, I actually put a review up. That's what it was. And they were like reaching out to me. Please contact us. We don't intend um, for you to feel this way about our services. You know, contact us and we'll make sure we'll make it right. And I think they did what they were capable of doing to make it right, to make me feel better. And I, I removed the review and, and that was it. I never went back to them again. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking like, you know what? I did see a lady come in to get her on um, macbook so yeah they do fix computers so i'll call and ask them then i'll call geek squad as well but those are the only two that like come to mind that you can get um computers fixed with so yeah y'all these little bad boys are so freaking tasty have y'all had these i feel like i dropped one something fell these are so good the tangy fruit welchers i will call both and get yeah yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I got to get my computer. Not only that, but I literally usually sit down around the 20, anywhere between the 25th to the 31st and set my bill pays up for the next month. Thank God my app is real. Mm. My bank app is real easy to maneuver. So I was able to set some of my um bill pays up on my app without a problem i was like okay i could do this from my phone i really don't have to be on a laptop but then there's other things that i have to do that i was in the process of doing and creating for my situation my my thing that i'm going to launch um so yeah i need my laptop i can't not have the laptop but it's all good i know god gonna work it out and everything is gonna work like it should it's just really stressful mentally to go through losing all of what I lost like that and I'm trying to get over it. So, tonight, and my sis had paid off her account. Yeah! Girl, mine been paid too, girl. That's, I cannot wait. It is countdown time, sexy. Countdown time. Me and my sister, ours is paid. I don't know who else paid. But at this point, like I told you when I first, you know, shared the fact that I was doing this cruise for my birthday. And if any ladies on here are interested, you can email me at mm, 
CPR for the body at gmail.com. I'm doing a, a cruise for my 40th birthday. And we're going to the Bahamas. It's 4-3, right? Or is it 5-4? 4-3? There's one of them. Um, if you want to know more information, I can definitely give that to you. Um, but I'm excited. I can't wait. What are we? September, October, November, December. And then we are leaving. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I definitely need that. Hello, sis. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? And yes, I see that I've been getting a lot of texts. I will be responding to texts tonight. I will be responding to texts tonight. And I'm not doing any shipping off. What's today? Thursday. What's today's date? I'm not going to ship anything off until Monday. So just know that. I'm not going to ship anything off until Monday. I got to check with my other sis to see where she is with the payment. Okay. Oh, that's the one who um going to want the room by herself, right? Is that the one? But yeah, so. Oh, you saying hi to Teresa? I'm, girl, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I keep saying, girl, you got to get this weight off. You got to get this weight off. But I literally mentally have so much going on. And I'm like, Lord, please, I still got four months. I, can I at least try to get half of the 30 off? You don't like someone who about to be for it. You don't like someone who about to be 40. You look great. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. Eh, eh. Yes, I do when I do this, right? Look. Oh, so ain't nobody gonna say nothing? So y'all just gonna, so, so y'all ain't gonna, so y'all ain't gonna tell me. No, I, this is how my grandma used to look. When you do something, she'd be like, she'd be sitting there knitting or doing something. She'd look up like, you be like, oh. Or you talk to her and she'd be focused or reading. she look up like, like, <laughs> if you don't leave me alone, I am busy. Get out of here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I be trying. I be trying. I be trying. I be trying. And I want to continue. Nah, I still look under four. Mm, 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 mm. Ain't that what they be doing, y'all? I don't know what I was doing. Wait, hold on, hold on. Nope, not that. Not that no. Wait, let me see. What they doing now? Nope, that. I think that's old, too. <sighs> Forget it. I was trying to make it come quick like I was... You know, knowing what the little kids doing and all that good stuff, but it wasn't coming. Yeah, I tried. All I know is this one. You know, how you be moving your hands like you really doing something. Ain't nothing down here moving. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. How are ya? Ain't nothing down there moving. You just moving your whole top. I'm girl. I'm over here dancing for my um revivers, trying to show y'all my moves. Yes, I can't see without my glasses. So no, ma'am. You still? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. These bad boys don't look y'all. Them junks are sitting right on these thighs. Okay, sitting right on these thighs like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Girl, I was getting it, Cindy. They can't tell me nothing. Girl, keep that camera just like this, like, and ain't nothing from the bottom moving. Just nothing moving. Just arms. Mm. They be like, is she gonna move like any of that? Like, is any of that, any of that gonna move? Be like, ah, ah, ah. Mm. They be like, but you like all, like, your legs is like, and that's moving. It's like, from the neck up. From the neck. <laughs> 
y'all, I need to laugh right now. Like, I need to laugh. I need to laugh. I need to laugh. Have to laugh. It helps me. I said, let me jump on and talk to my sisters. For those who need an update on the situation, I will be texting y'all back. Definitely. I'm trying to stay positive, and I got some news for y'all, okay? Mm -mm -mm. I got some news for y'all. It's all good, though. It is what it is, and God got my family, and he is in control, is what I have to keep saying. He is in control, definitely in control. But these, oh my gosh, I did not realize, y'all, I'm being big girl right now. Don't say nothing smart, because if you do, I'm rolling on you. Look, bam, got these on my bedside. Got these on my bedside. Y'all know it's getting ready to be that time, and I feel it because I be craving all types of these. The bomb. And these, I only could find these in the Asian markets. Are the bomb. Okay, that's it. I don't got nothing else. And my water. That's it. I have these little snacks. And I'm not eating them all like right now. Probably when I get off the, you know, off here, I'll probably eat them. But yeah, I'm not eating them all like right now and stuff like that. So yeah. So yeah, guys, I wanted to hop on, talk to y'all about that, and just be mindful, guys. Just be mindful. We gotta do better. When each of us do our part to do better, everything mm -hmm. gets better for everybody and it moves the way it's supposed to. Girl, it is. And I've been watching a lot. Excuse me. I've been watch, watching a lot of um, videos that are people who are like living the life that I'm inspiring to take on as time goes on. Um, true what? What? What I say? I be talking and, you know, I'm moving with it. So it be lagging. I can't tell what y'all responding to. Um. And it's just been so inspiring and motivating and everything. <gasps> Guess what, y'all? Don't, don't, don't. Hold on. I know now you're going to be like, oh, my gosh. Hi. Hey, how are you, Robbie? How are you? Um, I got two more babies. Hey, phenomenal. Phenomenally fly diva. I just thought about you yesterday morning. And my mornings and days have been so hectic. Y'all, I have been getting up so early like early Rizzy just basically told me about myself because you know she started back to school so I've been getting up making her breakfast and stuff like that girl she be looking at me like if you wake me up for breakfast anymore I'm gonna be upset because y'all know they coming straight from summer not having to um I know you did and that's what I don't know what happened that made me think about you and I was like I remember telling her that I tried reaching out and she gave me a new email. It just hit me. And I was just like, oh, but you never responded. Yeah, you did. Um, so I definitely have to um, go back and find your email. Yeah. I should. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to be. I should be able to do it from my phone. I don't have my laptop. So, yeah. That's going to suck to try to go back on your, um, your app, your Gmail app. I don't know how far it lets me go back. Probably not that far on my app, but I'll see. Um, she was frustrated with me. Like, I was trying to talk to her about how her day going to be in school. She was looking at me like, I'm sleepy. I was like, okay. Uh, okay. Like, Rizzy was really, oh, thank you so much, Robbie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You can have your snacks because you can't give up everything you like. Exactly. Robbie, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Wendy, I remember the first person that ever gave me a super chat. And I remember, I remember stuff, y'all. Wendy, if you are still in here, I remember when you first gave me my first super chat. And it was just like, oh my gosh. And now here's Robbie giving, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Robbie. I really appreciate that. Like, truly, truly, truly appreciate that. I'm a very appreciative person. I thank you so much. I thank you so much. 
Um, so yeah, like I feel weird, like even moving on, <laughs> but thank you. Um, just getting up and doing breakfast and I try to do that as much as I can, but they don't, they want all their sleep. Getting them up early for breakfast is not something they want you to do. And I'll be feeling bad. I want to make breakfast. I want to get up early and all that. I'll be up sometimes at three o'clock in the morning. Like I'm up. Thank you. And, um, like by six o'clock, I may have washed a couple loads of clothes, decluttered the area, made another bag for Goodwill, cleaned out. I, I get up and I'm just doing, doing, doing. Okay, nope, don't need these. And I'm walking through my house all the time on a consistent basis. On a consistent basis. Okay, I don't need this. Okay, I don't need that. Okay, I don't. Like, I've been doing that so much and calling people, like, taking a picture. You want this? Come get it. You want this? Come get it. You want this? Come get it. And, um... I'm going to be getting rid of, y'all remember those things that y'all see on the side of my desk with the two, the white, the squares with the um, green flowers coming out of them on the gray vases, the gray um, candelabra thingies, uh, not candelabra, candle um, holder thingies. I'm, I'm getting rid of those. Um, and a lot of y'all always say, oh, I love them. I did a DIY. I made them myself. Um, put the foliage in and, uh, you know, the... Um, the silk flower uh, mesh thing and push them in and then put the rocks and all that in the little acrylic things. Um, but I want y'all to see my new babies. Oh my gosh, I got new babies. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Nope, can't do it, can't do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My phone is, is uh, yeah. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me tilt y'all up real quick. Cause y'all know I got my nighties on. Naya, can you shut, bring me the baby's little succulents in the nuclear? So these I'm getting rid of because I want to put that big C in a in a real flower. Oh, oh you trying to find clothes for her for school? She looks so cute. Look at her. No, mama, Our first. <laughs> oh, okay. Somebody watching? Yes. Oh, she don't want nobody to see what she's wearing for the first day cakes because some of her friends watch my own videos. So these I'm getting rid of. Um, I don't know. Even my babies is like wanting all real flowers. So these are just candle thingies. And I just had these on here like this on my desk. It was really cool with the little Himalayan lamp. This is the big one. Then I got a small one. So I'm getting rid of these. And then I got these from Whole Foods. Did y'all know? If you did not know, if you are a prime amazon Prime, um member do you know at whole foods anything with a yellow tag is auto always 10 percent off to you and anything with a blue tag is 35 percent or more did you know that did you know that i didn't know oh i forgot she unplugged it because i needed the heating pad i was in pain the other day oh naya hold on Hold on. Hold on, yeah. I got it. I'm making all that noise. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. All extra for no reason. Uh. You ever heard? It's not like an old man. Every time he move or get up, he making all extra noises. Okay, so these are their new babies. And I'm telling y'all, I'm going to give y'all a tour of plant. A pl a pl a I'm going to give y'all a tour of my new babies. Oh, I don't think they see. I need the new plants. Well, I that was it's, it. No, the big one we got. Where is it? It's downstairs. Oh, that one and then that one on the table, I never showed them that. Okay? So, I got new babies. Oh, my God. These are the little, these are the little, teeny little, little babies. These are the little babies. These are the real little babies. And guess what? They're real. These are real. I got these from Whole Foods. Look at them. Oh, my gosh. Look at. Look at. Tell me that's not cute. $1.99. And so if you have Amazon Prime, the young lady told me I was so excited. And this is the little brother, the little sister, brother, whatever, brother, sister, I don't know. So this is the little babies, okay? Look at them. Ain't they so good? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They so cute. $1.99. Okay, so those are my new babies. I got this one today from Walmart. This was the healthiest one that I seen. 
five dollars but how do they know you have prime okay so wait so if you got prime right they supposed to ask you at the freaking um the checkout so you pull up prime on your browser and your phone and you just go into prime as if you was going on your amazon account and it'll say whole foods and you just click it and it'll, it'll it's a qr code thingy that they swipe and automatically take 10 percent off or 35 or plus for the blue items and they have a lot of blue items which i was um surprised about yes whitney yes girl and this, this one five dollars it's hard to find really healthy plants at walmart because i think they just let the water pour from the sky they don't care if it's been watered 10 minutes ago or five seconds ago they're just gonna keep over watering the plants so i got this one for five dollars i don't know if i shared this baby with you um oh, oh hold on this here is another new one and these are the um these are the um pots i got from ollie's for 3.99 but the ones in my room like that one right there that's the same pot but i spray painted it white those ones were like a orange not that deep terracotta red orange but like a pretty orange actually naya still has one that looks that orange color can you show that take these back downstairs and this is my other baby that I got. Um, this one was from Lowe's. And that one was from Lowe's as well. But trust me, I'm not, it's not overdoing it when y'all see where I got these placed and how they are. Like, see how that one is right one that's here. This my baby. This my baby right here. That's my husband's baby on that side. So we both got them on our nightstand. I'm trying to burn the rest of my candle and trying to keep it away from my plant. At the same time, it's almost done, y'all. My little, it's almost done. It's almost done. Uh, sis should be sis. What? Oh, I love the new babies. Ain't they so cute? We don't have a Whole Foods clothes. But no, that they always ask me about Prime and Whole Foods. What is Prime? Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Yeah, so this is the plant that I told you had got damaged. Remember when I was so excited and I went to my um client's house and she had, this is a, a golden pothos. And I literally got three leaves from her, three. And I planted this big boy from those three leaves. This is the orange that these white ones were when I first got them. When I went back, actually that brown one I seen was the first one I seen at Ollie's. It's crazy that it was still there after I said I like these and I went back for more. They ain't have none. They had that brown one. I said, oh, I'll just get it and change it because I'm going to change it to white. But um, this grew off of those three leaves. It actually had six more leaves on it. But my little cousin came over and was in Naya's room playing around and tipped the candle over and burnt. Do you know how we get burned on a stove or on an iron and our skin bubble up with the, you know, fluids in it? These do the same thing when they get burned. I didn't know that. So I'm looking at the plant and I'm like, why is this? Because I was getting ready to water. I said, what is this dark mark? Oh, what is this bubble? And I touched it and it just squirted it out. And so I'm looking and I'm seeing candle wax all down the candle, all inside. I had to pull like six, seven leaves out. So, but I'm not mad because these grow fast. These are the ones that vine and get long and pretty. And you can just keep like my thing is to like if i have a housewarming or something i will bring a plant and something i know they really want or a gift card i'm a gift card girl you want an aloe listen we just tossed the aloe plant out we came back from missouri and why i went in there to get the aloe plant i said it's time to water the aloe plant do you know do you know save robbie the aloe plant, we touched the leaf because I always like to rub them to clean them. And the whole leaf just was falling off the bucket, falling off the bucket. I was so, I get so sad when I see the plants be, are being damaged and like not being taken care of or anything that's living. It just makes me feel some type of way. So, um, Robbie, all of my, it was Naya's and that was, I had when it got the cactus swim, did everything that they said to do for it. And it was, th it was thriving. Robbie, when I looked at it, I, I couldn't even get myself to throw it away. It sat on the counter just like that after we picked them up. I was like, oh. So I was like grabbing all and they all just came out. I'm talking like 
like this. This is how they came out of the soil. Like, like they were just coming out of the soil. I was like, no, no. Like, I literally wanted to cry. I was like, no, 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 no. What is going on? And the bottoms were rotted and had this stuff on them. I just laid it there. I said, Naya, it's okay, babe. Maybe we just can't grow aloe. Maybe it's not good for us or whatever. So, Robbie, I go look at the plant yesterday. And why did I realize, find out that not only did my pothos get ruined by the candle, but when I was looking, because you know aloe got little white specks, so I didn't really pay attention. It was candle wax all on the base of the aloe. So that hot wax seeped down in the roots and mess and, and basically killed from the bottom. So it killed it from the bottom. So the top leaves were so fresh and still look good. And yeah, it killed it killed the whole aloe plant. And that was Naya's plant, my daughter's plant, the one that was just right here. And she was so sad. We both were sad. You got a good heart. I'm the same way. Makes me sad. Yes. I go in there, Robbie. And when I see plants in the store and they are like dead, knocked over, um, look like they've been over water, just look like people just don't care. I be in there rubbing them and talking to them like, oh my gosh, they're not taking care of y'all. Like I just, uh, like this one. I'm learning that in order for me to get a green thumb, I have to go through trials and tribulations with these plants. I do. Now that one is crazy because when I first got that one, it was so much taller, but the leaves just kept, you know, coming off or whatever. And I want it so bad because I'm so finicky about the way a plant looks, like the aesthetics of it, that I'm like, oh, I had to cut leaves. It's uneven and all that. I wanted to get rid of. I said, no. I'm not doing that. I'm going to work with it. And it's been flourishing. It's growing. The other leaves are getting long. And I said, I know mm -hmm. that the way those particular plants grow, they always grow that big stalk. And then the bottom leaves will start shedding after a while, whatever. And they'll keep growing from the middle. So, you see that baby? That one? See that? Uh, uh, how do I point? How do I point? That one. That one sticking right up in the middle right there, guys. That one right there. That's a new one, and, and when you look in, there's two other ones coming up, so they, they grow from the middle, you know, they grow from the top. So I'm excited, I'm excited that that's going to um grow really good and really nice. Um, I'm even worse when it comes to, oh gosh, good night sis, I just walked two miles. Ooh, yes, go relax girl, you deserve it, thank you for joining me, I love you, and I will talk to you in the next video girly. Um, yeah, and count down to the cruise count down to the cruise so yeah robbie i'm the same way you, you remember was you on the live or did you see my live where we got a little turtle <coughs> we call him mr pepper oh my gosh you gotta go see that live i can't remember what the name was but it was the, i think the last live i did you gotta watch the video i almost cried i was trying to keep my composure in the video but i almost cried like i was so sad you gotta go see what happened you gotta watch the video yes yeah, so yes um those are my babies and I wanted, like I said, get rid of that stuff over in the corner and put a, a, a nice fresh real plant over there. This is the first live I've ever caught of you. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, Robbie, you got to go look at that last live. I don't want to tell you what happened. You're going to be sad, but I don't want to tell you what happened. Thank you, sis. Enjoy your relaxation. You definitely deserve it. Walking the miles, girl. I got to get my life all the way back together again. Okay, I definitely do. I discovered you a while back through the Planet Fitness Red Light Therapy. Robbie, you know I, I'm not there anymore. They try to rip me off. Did you see Did you see that video? You got to see that video, Robbie. They tried to rip me off. And they were doing some stuff that I was not, I wasn't trying to deal with. I tried to um, switch some things up. You got to watch the video. And I was like, they, they really do what they can to rip people off at Planet Fitness. And it's so sad because I did want to do an updated video of me doing the red light therapy. And it'll say something about, plant. let me tell you about Planet Fitness or beware of Planet Fitness or something like that. Definitely go watch that. The cruise is January. My birthday is Martin Luther King birthday, the 15th. The cruise is going to be the 13th through the 18th. Yeah, so it is five days. Yeah, 13, 14, 15, 16. 13th yeah 13th and we turn return to 18 so it is 5 4 yep 
yeah so that's the cruise that's my birthday guys i never really do nothing real special on my birthday but martin luther king birthday is my birthday and i'm looking forward to meeting the ladies that are coming and i just want to have a good relaxing just real relaxing time just vibe with y'all and just enjoy ourselves and enjoy the islands and just have a ball girl yes that's what i'm trying to do so yeah that's when it is um if you want to know more about it, e email me, email me, and then that way, no, if you by you emailing me, that's not going to, yes, it could, because you can go back to the old email and act like you're replying again with your new email address. Is that how you did it before? I don't remember. I think that's what you did. I don't know. We'll figure it out, because I all I have is my phone. So, yeah. I don't know. Well, Robbie, then you missed the fact that when I got back from my trip, I literally, my my laptop, my editing equipment, and my journals and everything just disappeared. Still haven't found it. We got back from Missouri on the 28th, and I have not found any of my things. I'm talking a big black laptop bag, and here's the funny part. It came all the way here from Missouri. I seen it, my little baby girl was in the back seat with it and everything yes i'm a capricorn girl yes yes we rock we rock let me dance for you <laughs> hey jazzy lady you back wasn't you in here earlier or no or am i am i going no that was sexy that was sexy that was sexy okay 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 my bad my bad my bad um and robbie said hey Robbie said, hey, sis. So, yeah, Robbie, gone. Literally gone. And I've been trying to be positive. I've been trying to think positive. It has not popped up. It has not popped up. I'm looking at my bedroom in this. That little, uh, uh, that little piece of board. I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning rearranging this closet and purging. Because I'm getting ready to redo it. So I did a video of before. And I, I'm getting ready to do my half bath. I'm trying to minimize everything in my house. I just wanted to be so peaceful. So serene. I don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff in my house. I don't. I want my time to be spent doing things that matter. Like creating memories. And creating moments with my kids. Robbie. I am trying to mentally get myself together and prepared for the fact that I don't think it's going to come back and turn up. Um, like I was seeing early in the video, my cousin was telling me, my older cousin. Um, mm -hmm. Now, see, the cousins I'm speaking about are like older, like I think 60, like older, older. And she was like, girl, just, um, just put something on Facebook. You never know. So I did. Um, I reached out and, and put it in search of help me find my laptop and told him what it looked like and all the stuff that was in it and seeing if somebody reached out. But I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, it's really, 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 when I really think of it, it's something I'm trying to not think negative about. But I know God does things for a reason is what I said. I just don't know the reason for something like this. Um, because we literally seen the laptop and it was like we were unpacking, taking the stuff out of the car and everything and it's gone. Literally. The whole bag. <laughs> gone. Yeah. So, <sighs> it's all good though. I'm looking at my little babies. These have been so, I mean, these plants, y'all don't even understand the feeling that just go to me. I never thought, I did a video saying that I was a murderer and so now I'm a murderer or they think I'm a murderer or something like that. It was a funny one. And um, I was talking about having a black thumb, basically no type of green thumb. And now I'm like, these are my, these are literally my therapy. Plants are my therapy. They make me feel so good. And the more that you have, it purifies your air. It makes your home just feels so much more cleaner. You breathing in great oxygen that's created through nature. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Robbie, if you have a problem with keeping them alive, get succulents. Because succulents like to stay dry for a long time. So you don't have to worry. Your fantastic shared you in my community post. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Robbie. Thank you. Um, Get you some succulents, Robbie. Succulents, golden pothos, and these snake plants here get you some definitely 
Robbie, these right here was only $6.95 from Home Depot. That was a still of a deal for these size, these size um, um, snake plants. Um, and if you know anybody who has any pothos, you could get a cutting and grow them. There's a lot of guys on YouTube that have plant channels and i like watching them more the men the men are amazing with the plants like they are amazing then there's some women that are awesome too okay i'll try them out and let you know how long i keep them alive try succulents first try succulents first try get you some little small ones they don't gotta be this small i just thought these were so cute but they don't have to be that small um but snake plants they're like indestructible. Like you could keep them outside all year round. Some people keep them out in the winter time and they still thrive. You get what I'm saying? So those right there, those bad boys are indestructible. As a matter of fact, Robbie, mm -hmm. um, if you if you email me, I will actually I will ship you out some um some um some propagated some what you gonna call it some some um blah, 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 snake plants because i have a lot that i'm propagating that are rooting that need to be put in soil um soon so if if that's something you want to do i will actually ship you a couple leaves and um let you go from there and i will tell you what to do with it and how to do it and you can start from there but these don't need a lot of water they don't need a lot of attention um, I just try to keep the leaves wiped off because I didn't know this. They breathe through their leaves. And if it's dusty and you keep it dusty and stuff like that, it doesn't kill the plant, but what it does, it it what it does is it um slows the growth. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't grow and flourish as fast. And these these even these that I haven't had these really long and they're growing really fast on me. Like they're growing like not really fast. I'm, that was just really extra, ex, extra, extra. Okay, I was doing too much. Not really fast. They're growing really well, meaning I'm seeing the grow faster than the other snake plants I had. And this room in the daytime gets really nice and bright. But they are like getting fuller. I don't know. It just seems like they're doing, they just look so nice and healthy and plump. And I love it. And even this little bad boy, I noticed like the more that I'm purging and making my house peaceful and bringing other plants in, it's like my other plants are thriving. Did you know that if you, this is something for everybody. Did you know that if you do something to a plant, um, like, uh, like if you're trying to break it apart to repot it and you break it wrong or you cause too much tension, that plant sends sends off is it pheromones? Is it pheromones? Okay, don't 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 the word I may be wrong on this word, but it is a word. I don't know if it's that word. They send off something to let the other plants know that it is something that's causing plants distress. Did y'all know that? Like y'all, I'm trying to learn everything about these plants. I'm trying to learn everything about these plants because I want my kids to learn about them as well. And I want them to be all over my house. But in a nice way, like I've got a lot of plants. I don't got a lot compared to some people. I got a decent amount for me to be new to this within this year. That, um, But they're sporadically placed throughout the house that they just look so perfect. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just so excited. But these... Um, I know I can find something really little, cute, and dainty to put these in. Um, and these are going to go in the bathroom when I do the redo, which is going to be nice, easy, affordable um, a change of changing my bathroom to make it nice and minimal and just that, that boho, eclectic, rustic look. Oh, I can't wait to show y'all. I can't wait to show y'all. So I already did a, a before video. I have somebody who's interested in buying. I have this huge vase. Remember that big, big vase with the all the stuff in it in my bathroom? Um, somebody's interested in coming to get that. So it's supposed to be Saturday. We shall see. If not, I'll repost it again and make it, you know, come up in the uh, feeds. And someone's going to someone's gonna get it. So, yeah, um, I'm just ooh, ooh, trying to cut this little fan off. I'm just trying to stay positive. I'm hoping that my, um, yes, I will, Robbie. It's CPR for the body at gmail.com. I'll try them out and let you know how long mm -hmm. I keep them. Oh, yeah, vlog it. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. You have to, um, you have to, uh, Robbie, 
I see you just message me. You got to email me because it's easier for me to see that. I don't have Messenger. So I don't never, I, not, not never, if I had the laptop, I can see that, the messages without having Messenger. But since I don't have Messenger, I need to go um, on my phone. And when I go on my phone, it'll say install the app. So, yeah, email me. And I'll just eat CPR for the body at gmail.com and I'll just email you right back without a problem. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely um, send you some um, cuttings and that way you can plant them because I did with um, Rizzy, baby girl. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Robbie, this one here was in my bathroom, and this is one <clears throat> that I created from another plant that fell apart. And it's been thriving, and it's in the bathroom, and I water it every couple weeks, and it's just doing its thing. Just a little teeny one with a little concrete pot sitting on the back of the um, bathroom, the toilet. And this was one that I repotted from some cuttings. I let them sit in the water when they root. As soon as they root, you can stick them right in the pot and with soil and just every time the soil gets completely dry you water them these are the type of plants that like to go completely dry before the next watering when you stick your finger in there if any soil of no soil sticks to your finger that means it is ready if it sticks to your finger that means it's, uh, you don't want to feel no dampness these ones can go completely dry and you are fine so yeah but the ones i'm going to give you are longer they're kind of big what happened was um through repotting a couple some came off oh why why did my why did my screen just flip on me like 